Hey there, you're listening to the Big Dumb Fun Show. We're online at BigDumbFunShow.com. And we're not doing pirate voices anymore. No, we're what? not doing a gay voice either. We decided a long this time ago. This is just ago. my regular voice. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> we decided a long time ago. And first of all, this How is, long this is right here. This is the, the notes. This is the notes of the score that I was keeping. I, I tried it first, and then I was like, this is getting just too damn confusing. We almost need to hire a scorekeeper. <laughs> <laughs> or or somebody sure. who doesn't have to use their fingers to count. It, can you hear me, by the way? Yeah, I can hear you now. Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah, okay. going cool. right. You're um, up in studio. So uh, that was a, an amazing experience. But now it's time for sports with, with a guy, guy named, named Chris. Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, pause. you gave, you gave it to pause. me, but I still came in at the right time, I think. Miller time. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Hey, I, I was listening to the game coming over, the Monday Night Football. We've got the Falcons Are you ready versus for football? Denver and that loser quarterback, uh, Peyton Manning. Now, How dare you? The football season is pretty much over for me. But, yeah, um, yeah I'm, I'm done. Because you're a big Chiefs fan, and they and sucked it out. They're the worst team in football. And then we have uh, my mm-hmm. USC Trojans who, uh, well, they just got their butt kicked by nobody. So our season's over because we're not going to win the national championship now. They just got their butt kicked or kissed? Both. <laughs> I, I they should have kissed them after what they did to him. I can tell you that, or at least before, or nice. sometime. Yeah, it was bad. What was the current score in the game when you walked in? Was it a travesty? No, it was a uh, ten nothing. But the refs had already made like forty mistakes, and uh, mate, Peyton threw interceptions on the first three plays. Oh no! And then the next play, uh, No. Sean Marino uh, had a fumble. So are you saying Peyton is done? No, but I'd like to say that just for the hell of it because it makes Jeff mad. mad. (laughs) Oh, you're a Peyton Manning fan or a Broncos fan? I like – no, I hate the Broncos, but I love Manning. He Peyton, and it's not like it's any fun watching the Chiefs, right? I know. You were out at the game. I I was – well, I was at that game. I barely watched this other game because I couldn't handle it. Yeah, I was – You were too excited? No, it's just no. The disgusting. two games, the I first game, the Did first game started out great, and then the just the momentum just went, and then we yeah. left in the third. Does quarter. that happen often? Did you leave in the third quarter? Yep. You couldn't drink beer. You couldn't just hang out for that purpose alone. No, it was hot, and there was nothing to be excited about. It was like seventy-eight. No, it was hot. Anyways, enough of this. She had on kids. her pads. Okay, kids, <laughs> grow up. Um, so, anyways, a little bit about uh, the the referees. Have, did you guys see any of those travesties out there this week? No, but I want. I haven't yet seen the the chick, the the, the female okay, well, referee. Let's not even focus on that. They oh, need to get rid of them. Reference. Okay, I know. I came in last week and said they're fine. Yeah, no, they're you did. horrible. I no. thought you were like, yeah, they're okay. Yeah, no, they're horrible. How many female referees are there? I think there's just the one. Yeah, I think there's just one right now. Oh, then what? What are you? Who's they? As in what you're? No, saying is they horrible. is in the replacement referees. The regular referees aren't going right now, and um, I mean, just in this game that I was just listening to on the way over here, they met, they screwed up two calls. Where did they go? Uh, well, they're the NFL's trying to you know kind of not pay them as much as they want, and the uh, now they're just sucking. And now, so now the, these new guys are sucking. They just have to they have to figure out a way to fix this. I mean, this weekend alone, um, they left the clock running after an incomplete pass. That's your job if you're the referee to make sure the clock stops. Yeah, watch that hey, sucker. These are replacements. You're going to expect some mistakes while they're learning the job. Cut them a yeah, little let's, slack. Let's I mean, my question about the female ref, is she hot looking in that uniform? Because no one looks hot in that <laughs> uniform. The, sli- well, the stripes I mean, are slimming. Every time I see one of those refs, no, not. all I think the about is The ups and down stripes are very slimming. Yeah. Okay, no, so as long as I'm not going around slimming. you. Vertical stripes are slimming. Well, I mean. they probably found these refs on Craigslist. Yeah, well, actually, the funny thing is, is, I don't know if you guys heard, but one of the refs was actually pulled out right before the Saints game. Did you hear about that? No. no. Huge Saints fan on his Facebook, dressed in Saints gear, got about <laughs> to referee the game. The NFL didn't even bother oh, checking this stuff. That is great. Then somebody sends the NFL this thing going, hey, by the way, this guy's the hugest Saints fan ever. And they hired him from Craigslist. Uh, exactly. Yeah, uh, the Craigslist killer couldn't find him. So, uh, <laughs> by the way, I saw that movie this week, too. Oh. Are, um, are they making... Some decent money, the scabs. Are they making? I, some I would imagine money? they are. I, I really no idea, you know exactly. But yeah, I'm imagining twelve, fifteen dollars an hour, something, maybe. Something, yeah, yeah, probably more like you know twelve thousand to fifteen thousand an hour is free, what I'm going to imagine. Free meals at the snack bar. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Wait I, I a mean, second. What's the point of a scab if they're making half the money the real refs are making? Well, because you don't have to pay them a pension. That's really what this. But is all the about, real is refs are making some fat cash every right. game. Yeah. No. So why pay the scabs? I mean, the difference, like, if you're paying them half as much, then you could expect some mistakes. 
Yeah, well, I mean, and you can like expect some mistakes. They just need to get. Yeah, I mean, they just need to get. What rid are they going to say? They're going to be like, "Hey, hey, you think I've ever refed a game before?" <laughs> well, you know where they came from. They probably came from college. Like, no, refing little, little No, no, they came from kids. college. So here's what flag they, they, football. They came let me give you an example. <laughs> let me give an example. On the on the play that while I was driving in here, um the ball is thrown. Uh the ball's tipped by a defensive player and then they call pass interference on the defensive team. Well, on a ball that's tipped, you can hit whoever the heck you want. There is no pass interference. Uh, they're still coaching it. I'm sorry, they're still refing it like it's college. Like it's college, ball. right. That's the biggest problem, really. Um is that they are doing that. And well, that and the fact that they had the Saints referee or the referee that was going to referee the Saints game was a huge Saints fan. I mean, that is almost That's the hilarious, biggest. though. <laughs> uh, can funny, you imagine yeah. screwing it up that bad? So he's, is he going to be able to ref anything else? Well, that's just not there's Saints a lot, games? They're I saying mean, they're going to keep letting him ref, but he lied about not having allegiance to a team. Oh, everybody lied about having allegiance to a team. Come on, if they're out there refing. They love football. They love football. I heard Like they, they don't have an opinion about a team. I, I, they're not if supposed to. If they don't, to. they shouldn't be a ref. I, I, they should hire me. I would never call any penalties on the Chiefs then because that's the least we can do for their horrible two games. She's a woman. She'd be calling up fouls from previous you could games. Cheerlead, yeah, I know. You could cheerlead <laughs> and ref at the same time. Yep, I could. I heard mm-hmm. that uh, that these refs, I have no idea where I'm going with that. <laughs> 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 no, I, just, I really have no idea what I was just getting ready to because say. Because he doesn't know much about football. So well, I don't I can no, tell you. I just, I, Another play that happened yesterday that's kind of symbolic of, of how off these guys are is... is Our Chiefs? You're, you're not, you know, not the Chiefs. We're not going to talk about the Chiefs. Oh. They're, they're just the worst team in football. Um, but yeah. they called the chop block yesterday. Do you know what chop block is, Rena? Ooh. Ah! No. Yeah. Um, it's, it's when you go at a guy's legs while he's engaged or about to tackle. Okay? But the only time that... It, in college, it's always called the chop block. Mm-hmm. But in the pros, if it's the guy that you lined up across from that you end up chop blocking, even if he is engaged about to tackle somebody, it's not a penalty. Oh. And they called that yesterday. Um, I mean, there's just a bunch of little things that aren't that little. That like, they... <clears throat> there's another one that happened. I'm sorry, I'm going to bring up the Chiefs again. That Well, it's the only game you the watched, de- right? Def- yeah, well, the no, defensive, cool. well, the offensive pulled the defensive player's face mask, and they didn't call it at all. Yeah. Did you no. see that play? Because in college ball, that. it's okay to face mask. No, it's not okay <laughs> well, to Well, you, you could be trying mask. to help pick their nose for them, get the dirt out of their eyes, uh, you know, stuff like that. Well, earlier, in, in fact, in the Monday Night Football game, once again, that I was listening to on the way over, um, a player threw a punch. Now, they, they, the games are getting out of control, by the way. Yesterday, there's a bunch of fisticuffs. The old referees would handle this crap and make sure that it went away and stopped. If you throw a punch in the NFL, you are thrown out of the game. But yep. instead, these guys had no control whatsoever, so they just called a penalty. Well, then the coach is like, well, what was the penalty? Well, the penalty was throwing the punch. Well, then why didn't you throw him out? Yeah. There's a lot of – I mean, there's going to be a lot of weirdness going on. Uh, I heard that the new refs, they don't have, like, the friendships and the allegiance to the quarterbacks. And so if this is bad on anybody, it's the quarterbacks because they don't really have those refs watching Looking out back. for them. Yeah. yeah, no, I mean, I could see – I could see – a certain amount of that, absolutely. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, it, it, it's just a bad thing. They really got. They have to fix it right now. How far away? They're not. They're because they, you know what are they going to do next year? They're not going to pay the pension next year either. How far well, away? Maybe are they these refs get a little bit better in their second season. So have they completely removed the old refs? Like yeah, they fired them they, almost. No, but the first four weeks are scheduled out with the new refs. Mm-hmm. So, so they're still actually in negotiation. They are, they are, but I mean, really, they're after not really, this week, probably really serious about it because they got some other scabs. Yeah, but there. I think they thought they were better than they are up until this last week, and now I think there's huge outcry. I mean, all it's the major. It's embarrassing. It is. It's it, no longer professional football. Yeah, exactly. I, I mean, honestly, I think I could do that good. And it's the deeper you get into the NFL season, and the more important these games become. That's really when these little mistakes are going to be like, be oh, my God, if that ref hadn't have made that awful call, then we would be in the playoffs. Exactly. You know, like it would, like yeah. It's going to have repercussions that Absolutely. are that are really bad. Under my, I'm under a microscope. But Absolutely. don't the refs get penalized if they call bad calls? No. Let's put the NFL to bed, and when we come back, we'll talk about more sports with a guy named Chris tonight on the Big Dumb Fun Show. Yeah, they don't get a pension.